Yo, what's up, guys? So, a while back, Traj and I, we filmed the episode, we filmed a segment uh, where where he scrutinized my pick in Wu-Tang, like who I pick in Wu-Tang. And uh, we never released it, but uh, recently, the Wu-Tang docuseries of Mike's and Man came out, and then right on the heels of that, there was, there's been a whole bunch of controversy surrounding the Wu-Tang, internal controversy, which like really disturbs me. I picked up on a vibe that felt like Method Man. I don't want to use the word bitter, but it felt like Method Man was bitter. RZA talks about how, you know, they, uh, um, no, no matter the distance and time and whatever issue that, that goes on amongst the members, whenever they're in the same space, everything is just everything. Everything is all love. Meth had echoes a very similar sentiment saying that, you know, when, when they get together, it's all love. But however, they were all together in that theater. And plus, Meth, Meth the Man's monologues, it seemed like he was he was uh, um, bitter. He was, he was showing resentment. For me, I could be wrong. You guy went the, the most ham. He's been on Vlad calling Rizza punk ass. It seems like some members are kind of tight with the fact that now that they're all like really, really grown men with their own individual legacies, they seem to be tight that one man in particular kind of owns the brand. Even though, you know, Rizza's the one that uh kind of sparked it, even though it may have been ghost face with the slang and all that. I was happy that my cousin, my first cousin, Ghostface Killer, um, seemed to me to be the most appreciative of the opportunity that the Wu Tang Clan has presented in his life. I even saw him exhibit, you know, what they say rule number one is in the 48 Laws of Power and never outshine the master. But it was like that funny energy vibe. With Method Man, like, yo, nah, um, but then, uh, but then, uh, Ghostface, Ghostface, like, you know, he kind of saluted the master, RZA, and, and gave him, and gave him his props, like, nah, that was, it was RZA, it was RZA. We just gonna get into it. We gonna get into, uh, the video, the, the segment of Traj and I, you know, going through my list, my personal list of the Wu-Tang Clan. And uh, it was no no disrespect to anybody, but uh, um, I have my reasons for picking and arranging my list and leaving out on my list who I want. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Bang bang. Whoa, this shit gotta get addressed, my nigga. Did you rap, my nigga? No. I like I did my homework on you, nigga. A street nigga, you put your work in. If a nigga say you been locked up, or a nigga say he shot a nigga, man, that's all negative. Drive-bys with Chris Castro. Drive-bys, new podcast. Go! Yeah, I'm in the hood when I want to be. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> you know what time it is, man? Respect for this. You talking? Bang, bang. All right. I'm pissed as fuck. Cause we're doing this the second time. I don't give a fuck. I'm it happens. Shit happens, yeah. man. I, I'm used to this. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta just go with it. You know what I mean? And, and oh, you got some dope ass content. I'm just, yeah. All right. So the shit that we fucking have to do again. It's good for Cause the audio. I fucked up. All right. Uh, I had us two two zoomed in or whatever. But we was talking. We was discussing the fucking. Uh, you know what? I might fucking release it. At, we might release it as a, a audio. I just said that. Well, matter of fact, the other two cameras might caught some good shit. But just in case, we're gonna do some additional fucking content. We was talking about the best. We talking about the best fucking. Uh, Can we uh, drive while you do this? All right. I would like some juice, preferably Fresh. Hennessy, and um, some halal chicken. <sighs> what a combo, huh? <laughs> 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 fucking combo. This guy's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Henny and halal chicken. He's on his H's today. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else? <laughs> Holy ho! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, now nah, we was talking. We was talking. Um, we was best talking. Wu Tang. We was talking about the best. Who was the best in Wu Tang? The subject came up. Um, I said that it was hard for me to say who the best of Wu Tang was. You said, "Oh, yo, you always." I 
Hold on, I, I preface I preface that by saying that um uh, I think I said I'm pretty sure I, I I first said Ghost Ghostface is my best right because that's what it is but it started off as Method Man right because I was a casual Wu Tang fan okay. but once I got once I really got exposed to all the members quickly for me it was it was when it did was you Ghostface. get when, all right all right so okay I, and I and I understand why I understand the, the reasons why my thing is this. It's hard for me because I was gang banging. I didn't relate. And it, yeah, okay. And I was trying to remember, put niggas to sleep. These 90, niggas was waking niggas up. I don't know. I don't know if y'all niggas was waking niggas up. I was trying to put them out. I think Wu Tang. I think Wu Tang on the whole was more of was more street than conscious, and it was more it was more a slang of 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 a five percent of slang, and and speaking with 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 notes of mathematics. Of course, there's a lot of a lot of science in that, but it wasn't it wasn't easily caught by the average listener, and it went over a lot of people's heads for a while. But it wasn't what they were saying so much as to how they were saying it that caught people immediately. Facts. The Facts. sound alone. Was still you, whether you knew what the fuck when they said, "Yo, it turns me on like buying CLR rule." You might not have knew what the, what the CLR CLR rule was. It actually means car. But you, the shit, the energy of it just caught you, regardless, regardless to if you knew what it was. You know, the it's, energy captivated. You know, you, you know, you know. I think why I ended up liking Wu Tang, right? Because before that? I even knew the slang, right? I was picking on to the shit they were saying. Okay. Because you like the first thing I think you had to recognize with Wu Tang was they was talking in code. Exactly. You know what I'm saying like, like that was pro that, if that wasn't the first thing you got out of Wu Tang. Then I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, because the same person who says Raekwon is their favorite out of Wu Tang, you know, is not necessarily gonna say the same for Jizza and the same per and vice versa. You'll have a dude who, who's fucking. But Rain, yeah, but, but Rain fucking, Ghost would be similar because their slang is that's similar. That's why I didn't say Rain Ghost. But uh, and and as a whole, they all spoke the same language, but they spoke it in a different way. Ray and Ghost had a more street sense to their shit, obviously. They right. brung that. They brung that particular strain to the Wu Tang formula. Jizza was more on an intellectual spit, spit street, but more intellectual and more, more, more with an intricacy that you know maybe a kid from fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I knew, I knew kids from fucking Boston, from Somerville, who love Jizza more than they love Raekwon. You know what I mean? Because of their particular culture, All their right. culture and background. Yep. You know, so for me, like being diverse right, as I am, genius. yeah, MIT being diverse niggas. as I am, bouncing You're around. You talking about MIT niggas, right? Yeah, b bouncing around. You know, it's like I can understand why you know everyone will have a certain kind of. That shit was a dub for me because I loved ignorance. Then it's, it's not cool to say, especially being Kadai. Yo, I fuck that. I would tear the gang, but I would hate that shit. Niggas would assume that I had to be like super high conscious because I was fucking intelligent hullums, brother. Yeah, you grow, you <laughs> so, you grow, you grow the shadow of a person. I'm like, when yeah, they're, when facts. they're popular. Facts. I'm, I'm like, pretty sure a lot of people went through that. You know, fucking Tito went through that with Michael Jackson. I <laughs> I will crash into that pole. <laughs> right. Here. No, you won't cause nah. drive bys ain't dropped yet. So go ahead and plus we'll we get mad hits. hits. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah. That was <laughs> fucked up. Respectfully get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so look, so so um yeah. All right, so, for me it goes Raekwon. I mean uh Ghostface. Raekwon, Method Man. Inspector Deck RZA. Okay, wait, after that five right Wu Tang stop doesn't right exist. You have to relax, but not like that. The group exists. Shout out to nine. Ching Bing. Shout out to Ching Bing. Listen, my Negro. You can't just say these people, these 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 throw these names out there without giving the reason why it goes is first. But I can't. The reason why. Let's get all right, to no, the no, bag. all right, all right, all right. Let's all get right. to the fucking vault. Let's get to the fucking bag. S specify Go why. Ghostface. Cause he spit, he spits that real shit in a Yo, relatable way. Do I have way. some white stuff on my yes, face from my shit? Yo, me. come on, Pardon man. Me. Come on, son. You changed my diapers, man. Stop it. Hey, right, but damn. Stop. No, cause I know he put some stuff, so I don't get no right, razor bumps. That was that Nick shit. Yeah, yeah Nick for the shit. razor bump shit. So, all right. So look. Okay, why Ghostface? Because first. Ghostface. Why Ghostface? First? Ghostface. He spits the most uh, relatable shit to my life, right? The, like I identified with the shit he was saying quicker. 
and, 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 uh, and more poignant, right? Yo, bottles going off in the church. Like, yo, the, the, <laughs> the shit he, that's what I'm Sack saying. the pastor. Cool, no pops, pops had asthma. asthma. Okay. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that. How, that you, shit, how do you relate I to How do you shit, relate to nigga. bottles going off in the church? You never probably even been there. Because in the I was, yes, I have. Muslim. And I was a nigga. You're Muslim. And I was a nigga spazzing out in the church when I had to go with mommy with Okay, you know what I'm Ghostface saying? and who else? Den Meth? No, Raekwon. Because to me, they, them, them niggas is like me and you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then, and then Meth. Because Meth was my number one. You know what okay. I'm saying? And then oh, inspect the debt with one verse. You're giving me the list again. We did that already. All right, Give all right. me the reason why it's in that particular order. Uh, That's what people want to know. They want to um, know why you're saying that particular order. Uh, Ray and Ghost because he's Ghost, right? Like I already said, why Ghost? Ray because he's a to me he he's like he's a close second to Ghost because he is a he is a Ghost to me, Are we right? Going here? Yes. All right. It's a cue. Upstairs, up up street is uh her last chicken, right? All right, got it. But um, fucking uh, yeah, them two for, for one and two, right? Yeah. Meth because he was my number one. You're kind of making he Ray made, and Ghost one. He, and, I am, but, right. but I'm but I'm but I'm listening to Ghost first and then Ray, right? Okay, okay. And then and I think a lot of people who are Wu Tang fans feel me on that Ghost Ray shit, right? And then um, part of me and then um, uh, Method Man because he was my my he got dethroned as my number one, but even as my three for Wu Tang, it was still him. That made me wanna uh, try rapping smart. Cause when I first started rapping, I was rapping ignorant gangbang and shit. He he made me wanna try. Method Man. Yeah, cause he 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 wow. was he was com he was one of the first like spitters yo, that yo. they marketed as commercial. Like okay, okay. like you know what I'm saying? All like right, that all sense. the commercial niggas weren't spitters like that. Yeah, that's you know that what makes saying? sense. That he makes was sense. a platinum spitter, and it was like, oh shit, you could you could get the girls and still be spitting that shit. Oh shit, that's cool. Yeah, you know what okay, I'm saying? I get that. I get so that. that was cool to me. Like, I get like the that. nigga had us, and then he had Zakia. Like, oh my God. That yeah. shit was intriguing to me. I thought you couldn't play the fence. Yeah. Method Man was the first nigga that showed me that you could really play the fence. LL Cool J was kind of that, but he was really bitches. Pac did it to the umph degree later. But the first nigga I know that could equally bag your bitch and have your, your shooter like. That's that, that shit man. was Method Man. You know okay. what I'm saying? Right, so he's point. my three. Good and point. then it was RZA after that, right? Until motherfucking uh 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 Bobby Stop Dino. ground the pound for Prince and Solid Rock. Who got a lot performing live on your hottest block? Bro. That verse right there, one fucking verse made Inspector Deck like up top, like for me. Like, top echelon. Fuck that. Like that. I re I rewound that. I popped my tape. Abby bought me the uh, uh, Wu Tang Forever when I was locked up in, in juvenile. They had the tapes. I for for keep going back to that verse. Okay, let's keep let's keep going down the list. And then then RZA, right? Okay. And then they don't exist to me after that. Like as far as ranking individuals, they don't. Then it's just the rest of Wu Tang. Yo, wait a minute. You're, you're excluding the Jizza. Jizza is nice. I don't connect with the shit he says. You're fucking. I don't like like. For instance, instance, for instance, stop. Respectfully. I don't listen to, respectfully. Respectfully. I don't stop. listen to Tech Nine. Respectfully. To advance. Dizzy stance. Like a CD enhance, I move with the strength and speed, speed of, of ants. I'm, I'm going I'm going to the store. Er, but what I'm, I'm saying, going to the store. What I'm saying is, and I'm following, because this is some shit. So how you guys, what you guys, what you guys feel about that? Uh you guys, you guys rock with my list? You think my list is trash? I don't know. You gotta let me know something. Uh, who's your Who's your favorite? What's your list? Your Wu Tang list, and do uh, you think we could even count Capadonna in that list because he's always been like rapanoid to Mob Deep? So uh, give me your feedback. Who's your favorite? Who's Who you think is is the least favorite? Is the least talented? If you If you can even say that, because they're all talented, I guess, in their own right. But um, yeah, give me your Give me your feedback. What's your list? What do you think of my list? Uh, I think my list is smashing anybody's list who differs. That's my opinion, but you know, give me your feedback. Also, go on the website, drivebysashow.com, where you can watch the episodes, buy some merch. You know what I mean? Hit that like button if you like it. Subscribe, ring the bell so you can get the notifications of when we drop as we drop. And catch us online, drivebysashow.com. You know what I mean? Get some of this wonderful merch. You know what I mean? Respectfully. We got hats. We got shirts. We got backpacks. If you're trying to book an interview, 
or obtain advertisement space, go to the booking and advertisement tabs on the top of the page where you can scroll down into your full name, your email, your company name, select whether you want to book an interview or purchase advertisement and then drop a message. You know what I mean? We'll get back to you at our earliest convenience.